Hi there guys, Ken here, your Thrifty Apprentice, and welcome to the studio's very first watercolor palette tour. Now, I have seen this done by other creators and um, artists on YouTube, and I thought that was a really neat idea, and I wanted to jump in. And we are going to take a look at all of the watercolor palettes that I have here in the studio. So. I've tried to break them down into categories based on grade and types. Um, hopefully I've done a pretty decent job um, and I will be telling you a little bit about each one of them and, you know, telling you whether or not I recommend them or, you know, what are my top recommendations as we move through it. So um, buckle down, this may be, may take a minute, but we're gonna get through it. So we're gonna start off with kids grade or um, student grade, or well, school grade, um, products that I feel like were meant to target uh, those kids that may be in school or, you know, just for something that's a really quick and economical beginner palette that you can just practice with. So, I'm, we're, the first one we're looking at is going to be praying. Uh, praying has been around for a really, really long time. It runs in the top against um, companies like Crayola, Crazy Art, um, Stetler. So they produce really nice products, actually. I use a lot of them. Um, so this is an oval set, and they've changed over the years with the way you can get the palettes. Um, this is a eight count semi morse watercolor oval set. It's actually really nice. This was so funny about it. This is actually a really nice paint for it to be student. Now, this is um a 16 count oval semi moist which I got years and years and years ago when I was in design school. So, Prang is actually a really decent, you know, student kids school grade paint and I would definitely give it to my kids. I would suggest it for any teacher or any parent that had kids that were interested in watercolor. It's a really, really nice brand, guys. Let's move on. Um, <clears throat> the next set we're going to look at is actually the second set of watercolors I ever owned when I was a kid and played with. Um, they, again, been around for years and years and years. This is the Reeves brand. Now, I have, uh, uh, what is this, 18 tubes, I believe, maybe 24 tubes. Now, I've never seen them in a palette. In the, I mean, yeah, in pans in the U.S. market, but um, you can definitely get them in the tubes. Uh, they're really economical. You can get them from most big big box stores. I do believe I got this set from Michaels uh, more recently, but the older set that I had, if I'm not mistaken, may have came from Walmart many, 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 many moons ago. Um, and I just put them down in this little palette. It's double sided. As you can see, I've used the paints up. Um, a lot in practice paintings. Um, really nice brand. Sort of a step up from praying, I would I would say, in my own opinion, as far as quality goes, as far as saturation and color goes. But again, really economical. I believe it's meant to target the school grade market. Another product that I would be more than happy to give to my kids um, to use in a teaching environment or just for, you know, practice, maybe even a beginner painter. So let's move on. Um, the next one we're gonna look at in the school grade category is Mead Academy. Now, I purchased these paints off of Amazon, oh, I wanna say about three years ago, maybe longer now. Um, I wanted, or I was looking for paints that would sort of stand up to like Prang and Reeves just as a, di a different option. Uh, I did not like these paints at all, guys. I'm gonna be very honest. They were really, really chalky, um, really hard to reactivate. You can barely, you have to really scrub to get um, the pigments to release. And they just, you know, it wasn't a really pleasant experience. I don't think I ever even used these paints on um, video. That's, I did one or two paintings inside um, I did one or two paintings inside a sketchbook. I don't even know if I kept those paintings in all honesty, but that's Mead Academy. Um, now Mead makes another grade of watercolor. 
a budget a more budget grade i'm just I, i'm assuming a little bit better than this but from the reviews i've seen not much you know what let me grab my swatch book so that as we go through these the ones that i don't have swatches in the actual palette for we'll be able to take a look at um <clears throat> just in case you're interested in it so this me the cat we definitely not one i would suggest you know spending your money on if you should find it on amazon i haven't seen it lately i purchased that post covid so next we have in the school grade the uh maya hemi 36 solid watercolor set now this is a more recent set that i've purchased uh i purchased it in december actually the, this month the month that i'm shooting uh this video although it probably won't air until january sometimes um and i did a this as part of the art kit 2022 for december guys look when i initially reviewed these paints i was really excited about them i thought i had found a really cool um art kit that was really affordable and really nice and the paints were really nice and for all intents and purposes they painted really well my quorum with the paints was that they crack really really bad in the palette and i just don't think that they're transportable or that you know they are logically usable it's not even for kids because they're just going to mix and match paint is going to fall out um Every time you use them, you're going to have to constantly worry about them cracking once they dry. And that's just another layer of paint that's falling off or that you have to worry about mixing in with other colors. So, you know, it, for the palette itself, I would definitely purchase it. The pre it's only about between $12 and $15. And I think the palette itself is really, really cool. It's got like these comic book panels on the front of it. Um, it is sort of kiddish, but it's cute. And I'm going to dig those paints out of there and use that as a... Um, use that palette for some other paints so that is the maya hemi 36 count solid watercolor set like the mead academy i would probably just kind of avoid that set. okay guys and that is the last palette in the school grade category we are going to move on and look at the um watercolor palettes that i have in the craft grade now when I say craft grade, what I mean is um, house brands from your big box craft stores or um, brands that are sold in your big box craft stores versus your big box art stores or um, supplies that may be targeted towards artists specifically. These particular um, palettes we're about to look at may also be targeted to crafters card makers, scrapbookers, things of that nature. So we're gonna start off with some really common house brands or craft brands. The first one is gonna be, <clears throat> excuse me, Royal and Lane Nipple. So you can get Royal and Lane Nipple. <clears throat> excuse me, guys, I'm so sorry. Frog in my throat. Um, you can get Royal and Lane Nipple in many, many different versions. Um, pans and cakes and tubes. So I have this tube set. I think this is a really decent craft brand of paint. Um, this is the Royal and Lane Nickel Essentials line of, Essentials line of paint. I have had these for about three years. I've used them in quite a few paintings. Um, now, as you can see, they do crack when they dry down. You have to put some glycerin. If you put glycerin in there, they'll hold into the palette. They'll still crack a little bit, but they'll hold into a palette. For all intents and purposes, pretty decent paint. Um, you may want to paint with them fresh from the tube when you use them. I personally like dry down paints. I feel like they're more, more controllable, but you know, to each its own on that, and you do whatever is best for you, but pretty decent paints. Um, did I show you? Let me see. Let's take a look at the, like I said, we'll take a look at the swatches as we go along. That was the Reeves. Let's see here. This, we haven't gotten here yet. Artist Love. Uh, let's see. Here we go. We're in Lang Nickel. I've taken it out anyway. So, swap colors are pretty saturated and nice. Of course, I really do believe that they're dye based. There is absolutely no characteristic, individual characteristics to the paint. But for, for what it's worth, 
and the price that you pay for them, they're a super economical set. And I think you can produce some really nice paintings from them. Uh, so again, that's Roy and Lane Nickel. Um, I've only, the, uh, this set, I'm sorry, is, is the tube set. So I also have another palette from Royal and Lane Nickel, and this is a more novelty set, travel set maybe. This is the flip kit. It's 18 colors and a water brush that comes in here. Um, I purchased this from Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, now this palette, I'm pretty, well, I'm gonna say I'm pretty sure, but you know, I don't work for the company or anything, but you know, with Royal and Lane Nickel being a craft brand, they I don't believe they produce their own paints or their own products. So across the line of products, you may uh, get some that are probably produced in different factories. Like I would definitely believe that these paints were produced in a different factory from this flip palette. Now, I would wanna say that this was produced by Superior. Um, Superior is the company that is known for white labeling most of the fan palettes that are on the market right now. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's probably the consensus with, mo consensus with most artists. Um, this one I like. I really do like this flip palette. I think the colors are really nice and saturated. Let me see if I can find it for you really quickly. Uh, should have been a little bit more organized with this maybe. But don't you guys worry, we're gonna get through it. Um, so here are the 18 colors from the flip kit. They were really nice and saturated and beautiful. Um, it glazed well, it glazed and layered really well. Um, you were able to get some lift and it had some nice reaction to salt. Um, of course, dye based again, I do believe there's no pigment or light fast information. So probably better for just like, you know, sketchbook work or practice work. I would definitely allow my kids to have it cause it's non toxic. Really nice brand of paints. Um, and they're really economical and really, really, really compact. That's what I like about this. It's 18 colors. Now you can give it, get this fan palette um, in a, a number of up to like 42, maybe 44 colors that I've seen, maybe. Maybe more than that, I don't know. But you know, that is the flip kit by Royal and Lane Nickel Essentials. Um, I would not hesitate to buy it. It's, 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 I think it's really cute. So let's move on. We're gonna move away from Royal and Lane Nickel and we're gonna move into Michael's. Now Michael's Housecraft brand is known as Artist Loft. What I have come to discover lately about Artist Loft is that Artist Loft comes in different levels. They have a level one, which is their student level. They have a level two, which is their artist level. And then they have a level three, which is their professional level. Now, the only thing I've ever found in the level three is their new watercolor paper. I was at Michael's the other day and I ran across it. It looked like it's really robust. I wanna try some of it out. Uh, but considering the fact that it's their level three and it's targeted towards artists, for paper, it's a little bit a little expensive with the name Artist Loft on it for me. So I'm gonna really have to think about that. Now, the paints that they produce happen to be under level one. So these are considered student as far as Artist Loft is concerned. Now, they come in, um, I do believe that this is the fundamentals. Well, it's called fundamentals now at the time that I purchased it. These paints are probably about three years old or, or, or older. Um, now I believe it's called the necessities. Is that what it's called? Artist Loft Necessities instead of Fundamentals, but it was at one point called Fundamentals. I believe it's the same paint. I'm not sure if it's produced by the same factory, so anything that I'm showing you guys in a lot of these budget categories uh, may have changed. I hope they have, and I hope they're still the same, and forgive me that I didn't clean that palette. But again, here you have a house brand that, um, you know, has some fillers and some optical brighteners in it. Uh, they do crack when you put them down in a palette. Here I have to add some glycerin. Now, the glycerin helps them hold together and stick into the palette, but it doesn't prevent them from cracking. Um, for all intents and purposes, not my favorite brand of paints at all. Um, pretty weak. Um, okay separation and pigment, but you know, they, they not no light fast or pigment information. Definitely dye based, um, pretty standard across the board. They were okay. You know, they, they were the artist loft were okay. I'm not gonna, you know, take away from the fact that the colors were kind of saturated. And this is years later. 
Um, this was a 12 tube set and years later, it's still pretty saturated. Of course, I've had it closed off in this to protect it, but I don't know. I, I just think if I had to choose, I'd say the Rolling Lane nickel was a, the Rolling Lane nickel would be a better choice if we were just looking at craft brands in that category. Um, I also have this palette of Artist Loft Pearlescent Watercolors. Now, I really like these. I really, really like these. I mean, I use them all the time, especially in card making, um, to add a little pizzazz to the cards, a little shimmer and glitz. Now, here is the swatch sheet for those. Um, and you do have a list. I do have a list of colors. It does come on there. Now, this is a part of the necessities um, line that I was just talking about, which I believe, again, replaced fundamentals because they're pretty much the same product. Really, really pretty paints. You can see the shimmer that they have. Um, I guess I'm, I'm, I personally don't know, and I need to research to find out what the difference between pearlescent and metallic watercolors are. Um, if you know what the difference are in the comment section, please let me know. I, I don't, I, I would love to know. Um, but because they look like they're metallic paints to me. They're really pretty. They're really, really pretty. Uh, maybe the pearl lessons have more of a mica. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But if you know, let me know. But I really like these. I, it's, they're really economical. It's only like $5. You get 28 colors, for heaven's sakes. Um, and a little goes a long way with those. If you've watched any of my videos, especially card making videos, have been following me, <clears throat> excuse me, since I've been on YouTube, then you've definitely seen those in the works. I, I suggest them. That, that's a buy. That's a buy. That's a nice little gift for somebody as a stocking stuffer this Christmas or, or at the time that this video come out. It's after Christmas, but wait a minute. When is this video coming out? Oh, I shoot so many videos, guys. But anyway, this video is probably coming out like the last video of the year because I want to get this palette tour out before the new year. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, nice gift. Nice gift for someone. Let's move on. Still in the craft grade, we are going to take a look at my favorite craft grade. Um, we're moving away from Michaels and we're heading on over down the street to Hobby Lobby. Um, Hobby Lobby <clears throat> is uh, another craft store and their house brand is known as Master's Touch. Now, let's be clear. Master's Touch, just like Artist Loft, is probably have probably has a lot of their products produced in different factories. Um, Master's Touch, since I've been dealing with them, have changed their logos over the years, um, probably two or three times in the last three or four years. So it originally started out with a logo, and then they moved to the logo that you're going to see on all of the palettes that I show you today. And now they have a different logo, which is on some like on some of the um, new papers that I've purchased from them. Anyway, the first palette we're looking at is a 24 color watercolor set. This is a um, cake palette. Now, this is a pretty commonly seen palette, especially all over Amazon. It is um, got 24 removable cakes in it, two different layers, come with a tube of white. Of course, it carries Master's Touch logo on. I'm not sure what company is white labeling these for um, all of these companies but there's a lot of different companies out there right now that that have these paints including uh, companies like Lucas um, Grumbacher oh there are some other companies and I'm trying to see if I can just put my hands directly on the swatch sheet for those paints Give me just one second here. Let's see. Okay, so I might have to come back to that if I even swatch those paints out in all honesty. Okay, here we go. This is the Master's Touch 24. This is the Travel Cake 24. Kind of chalky, you know. Um, I wasn't really oppressed, really opaque. Eh they would be they're, they're okay for which pay form um you normally get masses touch like 40 to 50 percent off i think i got these for 50 percent off so i paid like five bucks plus tax uh yeah 
about 50 plus texts. They, um, they were okay. <clears throat> they were okay. They were just okay. Um, not something I would necessarily say I suggest that you buy. And if you just want to try them out, I say go ahead. But I'm pretty sure that there are other paint sets out there that you can spend your $5 on. So, moving on to the next palette by Master's Touch. We have the 24 half pan set. Um, this one is good. I, I think this is a nice set. Um, it's really affordable. It's 20 bucks, 40 to 50% off. You end up paying about 10 bucks plus tax for it. I do believe this palette is white labeled by Superior, um, which is a, uh, manufacturer out of China, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they white label for a lot of different companies. These paints are nice. I like these. I tend to like paints by Superior. Um, Superior is the same company that produces, I believe, that flip palette um, by Royal and Lane Nickel. Really nice saturated colors. Um, they, I'm not sure if they're dye-based, but they do all seem to have the same characteristics, but you can layer and glaze with them really well. They'll lift pretty nicely. They react nicely to salt. Um, and the colors are really, really pretty and saturated and deep. Now, artists, I mean, not artist Loft, but Master's Touch used to not come with pigment information. But I have noticed that the newer palettes and the newer boxes, the newer products as they're being packaged and labeled are coming with um, pigment information. I'm not sure if they're including light fast information, but they do in always include color names. Now, this is the swatch sheet for an original little 12 color travel kit that I had by them, which was my first experience with them. I no longer have that palette, but it was really, really nice. Um, and this is a swatch sheet for this particular 24 color set. Really beautiful colors. And this was done, this swatch sheet was done years ago. And they are still really nice. Of course, they've been closed up in here. But as you can see, you can get some really nice paintings with them. Now, this, this is one I, I suggest. I mean, I think it's a really nice set. It'll be a really nice set for uh, beginners. It will be a really nice set for um, card makers and scrapbookers and crafters um, who aren't doing a lot of watercolor or big major projects. Even if you wanted to use watercolors and like a, a watercolor... Um, coloring book i think that you know those paints would this would be a really nice set and it's small enough to be transportable if you needed to um and i try to keep my boxes just to keep things organized uh the next set by master's touch that we're gonna look at some of this stuff is dusty guys i'm sorry um the next set we're gonna look at is the 36 count semi moist watercolor cakes now this is probably my favorite favorite watercolor set by Master's Touch. Um, $37.99, normally hit you for about 20, uh, 40 bucks. Um, 40 to 50% I'll get you at about 20 bucks plus tax. Um, if you can find them, I haven't seen them in Hobby Lobby lately and I've been looking for them because I want to buy a backup set just in case they stop producing this particular one. Um, I like them. I would really love, like I said, to get my hands on another set just so I can have a backup set if these ever run out. Um, because I, or I, I guess I could just, I don't think that these are the same formulation as like there are two paints. So it would be different. These are really beautiful, saturated and pretty colors, guys. I love them. I think they are so nice. The palette is kind of big. Yes, I know, but I love the tin. Um, these are semi-moist, sort of like the praying in the kids category that we were looking at. I think these are a really good buy. Yeah, they're about 20 bucks, but you are getting 36 colors. You do get color names. Now you can source, as I said, pigment information form. At the time that I purchased them, you, uh, Master's Touch wasn't releasing that type of information. Um, but I think they are a really nice paint. I actually love painting with them in so many different situations and categories and yeah um it's you know they it comes with these removable and most of the palettes that we go through today are more than likely going to have a review uh in the um thrifty review playlist if you want to go check it out um so i just want to show you guys that 
it's sort of circular and flat for the amount of paint that you get in it though i do believe it's equivalent to a regular half paint um and it's just glued down inside this little plastic so so you can take them out though that's the point that i'm trying to make really nice palette i really suggest this i think this would be a wonderful gift i mean even i want to re-gift myself that's how much i like these paints um so yeah that is a 36 count of semi-moist watercolors from master's touch i'm not sure who they why i outsourced to produce this particular palette but this is my favorite palette by master's touch favorite palette so that is all of the master's touch palettes and now we're going to move on to the very last brand in the craft category um i only became introduced to this brand about two years ago and this is the premium marketing uh, art philosophy and i do believe that this is a craft brand although their products are probably um on the decent student grade level i personally love this palette this is the prima marketing tropicals palette now the thing about prima is they divide their palettes up into um you know sets of 12 and there are several several different palettes i haven't opened this one and used this in, in quite a while but there are several different palettes that you can get i have three of them here um I can't even get that open. Um, I have Tropicals. I have the Classics. And I've painted with these a lot. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this particular brand is white labeled by the Mungia Company. I hope I'm saying that right. The Mungia Company. Uh, they produce a lot of budget brand paints. Um and you will find that a lot of times you'll end up buying the same paints over and over from different brands for uh, because they are white labeled um i do believe and i've heard other artists say which can help confirm for me um you know that the same company the mongeo company who makes mongeo makes the prima paints also makes the jane davenport paints um that brand craft brand we were just looking at master's touch it has a 48 half pan set, which I have not used and reviewed yet. So it's not gonna be a part of this watercolor palette tour, but I do believe those are made by Mungio from what I understand from um, other artists. So you have to be careful when you're buying paint sometimes. The reason I stopped buying Prima uh, was because I found out that, you know, they are Mungio and if I really want to, I can just buy the complete 48 range directly from Mungio and not have to pay thirty dollars a pop for almost thirty dollars anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars a pop for a 12 count set of prima just to get the entire range now again i do if i just had to recommend any just 12 color palette from prima i would say the tropics tropicals i like that palette um the terrain palette is really good for doing landscapes the classics wasn't my favorite i'll be honest um it just I, di I didn't get much use or see for the way i paint the choices in that one it wasn't the greatest so that is prima marketing guys prima marketing and i do believe that that is the last palette in our um craft grade category so now we're going to move on to student grade budget grade i put those together or well, budget grade um there is a difference i believe between a student grade paint and a budget grade paint now student and student grade can come from a legacy company which is typically what i think of when i think student grade but we're going to go through this category kind of mixed because i feel like the signals between the two are mixed so i'm just going to jump in and we're going to start off with a company that's pretty new that's been pretty new to me i've been using their products for about two years now and for all intents and purposes it's an okay company um i like their watercolor paper better than any of the other products that i've tried from them oh and i do like their watercolor pencils 
um, their wood is, oh, and their colored pencils. I, I've liked everything really but the paints, let's be clear. So this is Arteza 24 watercolor set of tubes. Now, this was gifted to the studio and I was very grateful for it. It was a wonderful gift. And for all intents and purposes, they are okay paints. They are okay paints, um, but not the best. Now, ironically enough, I have them in a master's touch palette, right? Go figure. So I'm just gonna pop this open and let you see what we're working with here. Now, they are really nice and saturated. They have a bit of a little kind of matty, chalky, dry down, in my opinion. Um, a little on the opaque side. Um, I feel like maybe they would probably be better used straight from the tube. They definitely crack really bad when they dry down. Now, my original review and oppression of these was a pretty decent one, but over time, the more the paints dried out, the more they just kind of cracked apart in the palette. And I've had problems with these falling falling out, so um, not the best physicalities to the paints. They didn't perform the best in that. Um, just, you know, I, they, they're a miss for me. They, they're hit and you can paint with them. Let me say it like that. You could definitely paint with them. If it's what you can get your hands on, I'm not gonna say that they're so bad that it wouldn't be okay for, you know, a beginner painter to get their feet wet with these, but I would definitely suggest that you graduate to a different brand really quickly. Um, especially not this particular set. I'm just, I just wasn't a fan. Um, but that is the Arteza 24 um, count of watercolor tubes and it is premium now Ar Arteza does have different categories they have like the classics which is kids I believe they have the premium which is more of their student line then they have the expert and the only thing I've really ever seen an expert was their colored pencils watercolor pencils and paper if I'm not mistaken um, and ironically enough the things that are, have the expert classification on it are the ones that I like the most um, let's take another, the, I have a 12 count half pan set here by Arteza as well. I do believe this is another product that was gifted to the studio. Eh, again, just like I feel, I just feel like this is a really weird color selection if the truth is told. I don't know, um, it's something about the formulation of the paints that just didn't sit well with me. Um, they have sort of this goopy. I almost want to, if I didn't know any better, I would have said they were superior paints from the appearance and the feel, but at the end of the day, they just do not perform like superior paints to me. I didn't really care for these. I didn't really care for their tubes. I just don't really care for Arteza paints when it's all said and done. Now, some if you go back and watch some of my reviews, the initial reviews may have been okay on them. That's because I do try to find the better side of any product that I'm reviewing. But if you listen to me closely, I will tell you who I do and don't recommend it for. And this is just not, um, I don't know. I just believe that maybe you can find, you can put that money towards, because these aren't, it's about 20 bucks, somewhere between 20 and 30 bucks. And you can just put that money towards a much better 12 count half pan set and we're gonna go all, we're gonna run across a few of them in this particular um video so that is the Arteza 12 count half pan set again not one that i'm just absolutely crazy about so let's move on the next set we're gonna look at is by aim high now here is the catch 20 to this i no longer have these paints in a palette this is actually the very first set that was gifted to the studio in sponsorship. <clears throat> um, and they were gifted to the studio, uh, to me actually, in order to specifically use them and do a review on them. And if you go back and watch that review, it was a pretty decent review. The paints are actually pretty decent. The issue that I had with them is like most budget paints, they do crack in the palette and they will fall out so here's the swatch sheet um that i did with them is 24 tube sets and for all intents and purposes this swatch sheet was done about three years ago maybe a little longer 
Um, and the colors are still okay. You can still see them pretty vividly. This was a color mixing chart that I did specifically for that video. And I did this because I really wanted to um, see the different color range that you could get from mixing the 24 tubes. And this is not this is nowhere near as big as it could have been. Um, but for what I did do, you could the paints mixed pretty well um now the prices on this set have fluctuated i've seen it go up and down dramatically i'm not sure what the current price is but um if you're going to you know take my opinion on it for what the paints are and um you know for the fact that i would i guess suggest that you paint from from directly for the tube they are 12 milliliters i would probably say i wouldn't pay any more than about 20 bucks for them um but they are a really decent place to start uh, they they are um they they have a little opacity to them a few optical brighteners in it you know and fillers to stretch um i'm not sure if it's pigment or dye based um but decent product not terrible not terrible at all all right let's move on i'm trying to be quick i'm trying to be quick give you a little information about each product and then move on next we're going to take a look at the pagos 36 watercolor paint set now this one these these are okay these are okay i believe this is another set that's produced by superior which is why i feel like i like it um this is a 36 count set of watercolor um, it comes in a really nice kit. Um, yeah, they're superior. I believe these are superior paints. I like them. Um, I feel the same way about these that I feel about the 24 count of Masters Touch watercolor half pans. I feel like they're a really nice place to start. They're really economical. This entire set may have hit me somewhere between 25 and 30 bucks. You get quite a bit in it. 36 watercolors, paper, um, gel pen eraser sharpener sponge water brushes pencils regular brushes so you get a lot in this set for what you pay for it and the paints are actually pretty decent the paints are actually really pretty decent this is that this is a set i i would suggest um but then again maybe i'm favorable to superior paints like i said earlier i don't think that they're a bad brand of paint at all let me show you really quickly the swatch sheet for that pagos this is the pagos 36 count and as you can see they look a lot like the master's touch uh painting out and that pagos set doesn't have any um that pagos set does not have any um uh, come uh, 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 names on it that that it would that, that was eluding me um it's not they're not named so you kind of have to put them in number order or your own you know labeling system and it, versus the master's touch actually having names and i do believe they come with pigment information now whereas the pagos didn't so you know you just kind of have to weigh your options um you're not going to get as much with master's touch unless you buy one of their kits and I'm not sure if they have a kit that has that 24 half pan set in it. So, you know, just something to think about. Um, the next set we're going to look at is the Doodle Hog 36 count of half pans. Again, another product that I feel is made by Superior. Uh, of course, now, when you're ordering these things on Amazon because you're artaholic like I am, you have no idea <laughs> that, um, you know you're ordering paints that are manufactured and produced by the same white labor white labor white label <laughs> company um because it's sold under a different name but here we have doodle hog 36 count half pan set and i am without a doubt sure that this is the same set as the pagos 36 set that we just looked at because this is again another superior paint um i i don't know i gravitate towards them um but the reason i want you guys to know that information is because they perform almost identical in quality um so you kind of have to shop around when you know this type of information and that's why we're 
when content creators make videos like this is good so it can kind of help you avoid buying duplicate sets and spending excessive money on paints that is going to basically be the same thing that you may already have in your art stash now i feel the same way about these that i felt about the um pagos but if you're just looking for straightforward paints this set typically only runs about 10 11 dollars you can normally find it on a lightning deal and if you live in my area um uh, it ships by next day so this is a really cool set i definitely recommend this i think this is a really nice beginner set um uh, not that the pago set isn't but if you're really on a tight budget this is a nice set to go with um if you're in the, if you can't spend any more than 15 bucks you just can't spend any more than 15 bucks for a paint and you really need to get started and you need something that's going to get you out the gate it's not going to be crummy you're going to enjoy using you can use in a lot of different versatile ways then yeah the pagos 36 count is good and let me show you if you take a look here at I'm sorry, do the hog. See, I'm calling it Pagos because they're so close. Now, this was the Pagos swatch sheet. No, I'm, I'm just going to turn the page. That's the do the hog swatch sheet. Watch the twin. That's the Pagos swatch sheet. That's the do the hog swatch sheet. Guys, so we got some, we got twinsies going on. Um, and of the twinsies, the do the hog is probably the cheaper brand. So, yep, that is the do the hog 36 cents let's move on here to our next one in this category um we are going to take a let's see where do i go because now oh let's get these out the way this next set is i no longer have panned up either um i was a little disappointed in these paints this is the de la Roni simply set from uh, by De La Ronde. Now, De La Ronde makes Simply, they make a professional brand, and they also make Aquafine, which is their legacy student, which I've never tried or used. I've heard different things about it. I've heard that it's pretty decent and pretty good. And because the De La Ronde name um, carries such legacy to it, I wanted to try out this Simply line when I saw that it was available in Walmart and that it was so economical. But I was so disappointed. They were, guys, they're just, they're okay. You know, they're okay. I try to find a good one. They're okay. I mean, if Walmart, okay, let me put it this way. I've tried a lot of different products out of Walmart. If Walmart is what you have, it's what you have access to. You don't really have any access to a big budget or a big box store. Um, they will work they will work and they're probably the better watercolor paints that i found in um well i take that back because i found their royal and lane nickel flip kit in walmart and i would actually recommend that over the day Ronde and simple that there you have it they're like five you can get these like 24 twos for like maybe five or six dollars but i think that they're really grainy um they're not really chalky, but they, they were just really difficult to paint with. And um, they're really flat. That's what I'm looking for. They're really, really flat. Um, not the best, not the worst. Let me say that. Not the worst, but not the best. Uh, I think that, you know, for five or six bucks, you can get Royal Lane Nickel, and it's better. Oh, you just want, I feel like you'll have better... Um, quality painting. You'll just have a better time painting with that Royal and Lane nickel. Um, save you up a few extra dollars and get you Hobby Lobby. And all these, of course, are really budget brand. I mean, the Doodle Hall is only like 10, 11 bucks. So there are, there are definitely choices, guys. You definitely, definitely have choices. Let's move on and look at, let's see here. Let's look at, so this is the Soho. Now this is a discontinued, you're not, um, and I, I normally don't show discontinued stuff, but this company has discontinued this product. Now Soho, which is the house brand by Jerry's Autorama, which is a big box art store versus a big box craft store. Um, Jerry Autorama is actually a art supplier. So this is, 
more of a student grade paint than any of the craft grade paints would have been. So they used to make this to paint called um, Soho Urban Artist Watercolors. Now, there is a review on my channel for these. If you can find these, you're probably only gonna find them on maybe like Etsy or eBay, you know, a secondhand uh, a used seller like that. The paints are okay though. They do make a new one known as the Soho Easy Lift. They come in half pans and you can buy them in like a 24 or maybe a 36 count set, I believe. I cannot get this out of there. I'm really trying because I want to show you guys these paints. Um, okay, I'm not in here. And I just have them in a palette that I ordered by my art tool. So I have a few random tubes of this paint that was sent to me. Um, I want to say by Miss Diane Zimmerman, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I do believe that's correct. Um, the paints dry down, as you can see, really flaky in the palette. Some of them, it was a lot of inconsistencies um, with the paints, to say the least. Um, I think I put Reeves in here. If I'm not mistaken, I put Reeves in these half pans to augment the colors that, the few colors that I had, because it wasn't a complete range. I mean, the colors were nice and saturated. It was an okay paint. I'm not sure who made them. The um, Ultramarine Blue had some decent granulation. Like I said, if you can find them, um, I don't know. They're discontinued, so they're probably going to be hard to find. I just wanted to show you guys those as part of the... Um, the palette tour um but if you do if you can find some used ones if just for nostalgia purposes um it will be a paint to have um but yeah they weren't the absolute best but they weren't the absolute worst either okay so moving on we're gonna take a look at a paint set that i believe fooled a lot of people I do mean a lot of people. And that is the Art Well 24 2 set. Now, I originally saw this set from Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. And after seeing her use it, I was determined I had to have it because she just raved so highly about the paints. Um, so I ordered the set off Amazon. And you get a lot of paint. You get a lot of paint. These are 15 milliliter tubes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I checked the price on these. And the price on these has gone up dramatically from what I initially paid for them when I originally ordered them. So, you know, spoiler alert, buy at your own risk. The paints are higher. Um, what they're priced at now, I'm not sure if I would pay that for them. What I paid for them at the time, somewhere around about 20 bucks. They are definitely worth it. Really nice, really vibrant and beautiful paints. Now they do crack a little bit when they dry down in the palette. And some of the stickers were coming off with the twos, but they didn't um, affect the way the paints performed. Uh, really nice colors. They were really transparent. These were some really transparent paints. Um, had really nice saturation. They lifted and they lifted well, yet and still they glazed and layered well. The only issue I had with them is that they dried down and cracked in the palette. Now, of course, you can kind of offset that by adding a drop of honey or maybe a couple of drops of glycerin. But, you yeah, know, it kind of is what it is. But I like the paints. I like the paints and I would recommend the paints. Now, I don't know if I would recommend the paints for 40 or $50 dollars which is what I've seen them kind of priced at lately. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I recommend them at that price, but they were some nice paints. And if you can find them for 20 bucks, I say go for it. Even if they do crack in the palette, it doesn't matter. Put you a little honey, a little glycerin in it. You can offset that. And I would paint my little heart out with those. Those are really nice paints if you can find them for the right price. Now I'm gonna save those. And I'm going to move on to these. So here is um, paints that I feel fall into the student grade category, but they are Japanese watercolors. Um, so they perform a little bit different from your standard American watercolor, yet and still I feel like uh, actually 
all three of these that I'm about to show you are pretty decent palettes. First up, a lot of people know her, have heard about, and probably have experience with is the Sakura Koi watercolors. Now, this is their pocket. I believe it's called their pocket fuel sketch box. Um, I've had these paints for a really long time. I haven't used them in a really long time. Um, they had a little grittiness, a little graininess to them. Um, but for all intents and purposes, they were a really decent paint. Um, they work well for what you paid for them. Um, they were pretty decent quality for student um, paint. Give me just one second. Let me see if I can put my hands on the slot sheet for them. Wait a minute, what are we looking for, Cohen? It shouldn't be that far back. Hold on, because that was one of the first sets that I purchased um, a couple of years back. Here we go. So here's the coin. That's how I used to swatch in a straight line. I don't know. I might go back and do that again. It's pretty cool. Um, but they had a little opacity to them. But they were really good on the go. It was a really compact set. At the time they first came out, there was not a lot of budget price student grade decent paints on the market so i believe they kind of made a name for themselves really quickly um but it's a decent paint um i'm not sure how much they currently run but you can find them in like michael's i know i've seen them in michael's i think i may have even seen these in hobby lobby if i'm not mistaken um, so they're pretty accessible in some of your big box stores. They've become a pretty common name. They make a few different palettes, and it's a pretty decent paint. Um, I don't feel like you would be going wrong with them. Let me definitely let me say that. Um, we're gonna the next Japanese watercolor we're gonna look at is going to be the um Kuretake Genze Tamba. I hope I'm saying that right. Um watercolor set this is the 18 color set this is another set that was gifted to the studio um by a wonderful viewer by miss diane zimmerman um you guys have heard me speak about her on many different videos um she runs watercolor beginners and beyond on youtube it's a wonderful watercolor group um uh, that I got a start in and it, it, it has been wonderful help to me. The people there are so respectful and nice and kind. Um, and of course, since I'm throwing that out, I have to throw my shameless plug out for the Thrifty Apprentice uh, Facebook group, art group, which is called uh, Paints, pen, Paints, Pencils, Pastels, and Markers. Um, there's always a link for it in the video description. Either one of those groups would be a wonderful place to come, I feel like, to learn and grow and um, share your artwork. So, Miss Diane sent me these. I like these paints. I really love these. The thing about them are they are a little on the opaque side, so they kind of put me in the mind of a gouache in all honesty. And I tend to use them when I am um, using gouache paints. Now, here is the swatch sheet for the Kiritake. Um, it's they will fade a little bit. As you can see, this is fade a little bit. And at the time, I don't believe I was swatching on. Was I swatching on Canson? I'm not sure. And if I was, it may have been the 200 series. So I want to attribute sort of the fading in this to the paper. Because I've used these in some paintings, and those paintings have not really shifted in color. I like the Genzai Tambe paints. Um, I feel like they're pretty decently priced for what you get. Um, I really like using them in combination with my gouache paintings, and I really like using them in a mixed media aspect. So, yeah, that is the Genza Tembe by Kuretake. I do not feel like you can go wrong. And I really love the fact that, um, that a lot of the Japanese watercolor tend to come in these large pans. They're really, really big. It's easy to get brushes into them. And of course they do remove from um, the box in order for you to sit them out and do individual paintings or if you just want to do some limited painting, limited colors um, for color mixing. The only drawback to this set is I don't like that a lot of them come in cardboard boxes. But yeah, so that's that. Um, the last Japanese set in, still in the student grade, and I actually love these little bad babies, are the Boku Undo Sumi E ink watercolors. These are some 
granulating beautiful dark colors um i've used them in some paintings um you guys can go check it out if you want to i do not believe i've done a review on these and i may let me know if you guys are interested in a review on these because you can definitely find videos on a channel where i've used them in paintings because i've used them in a mini i love the granulating effect of it so if this is something that you think you would be interested in a review on let me know and i'll definitely get around to doing it for you guys um so like yeah again the big pans but the thing about it is i believe all of the pigments have black mixed into it so you get this sort of moody effect from all of the colors and they granulate so beautifully you can't really see it here um on the swatch but when you use the use the pigment heavily in really really watery washes Oh, the, the, the effects you get are just so beautiful. I love those. And these are the start to me building a granulating palette um, because I do not have the money to just spend on something like Supervision, which is $80, 90 That's just ridiculous um, for me right now. Okay, so let's move on and we're going to look at the student grade sets that i have from legacy company legacy companies um these are companies that have been around for a minute they have tried and true testing you're going to get light fast information you're going to get pigment information um and they're still going to be in a very economical affordable range in price so we're going to start off with the Derwent Academy set. Now, this is a set that I actually got out of Walmart, believe it or not. But, of course, we know Durant is a age-old name. They produce some wonderful art products. And when I tell you, I do not believe that they failed when they produced the Academy line. Now, the Academy line of products is something that I've been wanting to try for a while. I got my hands on this set some time back. There is a review up <laughs> on the channel that you can go check out. I like these. I like Durant products. I think that they do a really, really good job. And this set was really affordable and economical. I got all of the tubes. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. It was six tubes, uh, basic colors. You got your um, yellow, red, and blue. And then you got a black and a white, I believe. Let's see, no. You had a yellow, red, and blue, a green, a black, and a white which was a very mixed color range, a very versatile, excuse me, color range, which you can mix many different colors from. I really enjoyed using these. I think that they are really nice buy. I'm not sure if you can pick them up in Walmart anymore. I do believe you can order them from Walmart's website. Um, I do believe you can order them on Amazon. I think that they are a wonderful place for beginners to begin. They're a wonderful product to give uh, for students and, I, and I, even art students really saturated really nice um now the, when i bought them they didn't have any um pigment information but i do believe it is provided on during site if i'm not mistaken um and real quick you guys want to see those oh i should have been more organized for this portion because i have okay here we go during academy see Really nice, really saturated. Now I did this um, swatch sheet straight from the tube, which is not what I normally do. I normally let them dry down, but this was one of those turnaround reviews. Um, nice, nice paints, nice paints. Um, not really opaque, they were pretty transparent. Of course the yellow has a little opacity to it as you would expect. They lifted really well. They layered pretty nicely. They watered down pretty nicely. They reacted nice to salt. Yeah, nice paints. Nice paints, nice paints. Let's move on, nice paints. Next, we're gonna take a look at Lucas Studio. Lucas Studio Aquarelle. This is a travel box set. Now, this was the first set of Lucas paints that I have. Now, I do have their professional paints, but they're not a part of this watercolor palette tour because they're not something that I've tried and tested or, or have made a debut on the channel yet, but they are coming up in 2023 this is the 12 half pan travel box this is a really nice little set of paints they're sort of opaque you know 
So if you're not an opaque user, if you don't like opaque watercolors, then these probably aren't the ones for you, but they come in. There's a really nice little neat travel palette with a number four round brush that's convenient, um, which is a little different from most sets, which comes come with a water brush. So it's refreshing and different. Um, really nice range of colors. You get a warm and a cool of everything. Um, they mix really well. Um, they layer really nicely. Of course, the more you layer with them, the more opacity you will get. I personally like the paints. Um, they suit my fancy and my taste. Let me see if I can find the swatch sheet for them. I'm not quite sure what I did with it where it is um yeah so i'm not quite sure where the swatch sheet for those are i would have thought that it would be in my swatch book but if you check out the review you can definitely find the swatch sheet on there so yeah sorry about that guys couldn't find a swatch sheet for those i thought i had swatch sheet for everything but really nice Really, really nice. You can get them in a lot of your big box art suppliers. Um, I got these from Jerry Autorama. I think I paid about 12, 13 bucks for them, something like that. It was worth it. Whatever I paid for them, it was really, really worth it. You're gonna get light pads and pigment information, color names. Um, you can source the pigment information. They come with the color names on here, um, but you can source the pigment information for them. Really nice paint. I recommend those. That's one of my recommendations. This is also one of my recommendations. Now I have them in this little cute eyeshadow tin palette. I've been painting with these for years. This is the Grumbacher Academy 12 piece set. I picked these up from Michaels years ago. And when I tell you, I have not been disappointed. Just like the Lucas Studio, Grumbacher is a tried and true company that has been around for quite some time. It is in the legacy category. And this is their student grade paint. Um, I'm not quite sure how big the range is. I've only ever had this 12 count, but it was always enough. You can mix anything that you want from it. It doesn't come with a black or a white. You can use the white of your paper as your white. And of course you can always mix your black from the colors that you're using for more color harmony. This is a really nice set. A little bit more pricey than the Lucas Studio, but it's also more transparent. I think it goes a little bit further. Um, they cost me a little bit more money. You can get them from Michaels, I know. You can order them off of Amazon. I'm sure you can order them directly from the Grumbacher site. Um, they come in the little plastic tubes. They're gonna have the names, the pigment information, as well as the light fast ratings. So you do get all of the expected information that you um, look for in a professional company that has produced a student grade paint. That is also a recommendation. It is also a recommendation. I do not feel like you can go wrong with those paints. Next, we are going to look now. I saved these two purposely. So, next we're gonna take a look at Windsor and Newton Cotton. But we're also gonna take a look at the Phoenix watercolors as well. And I'm gonna explain why in just a second. So first, let's look at Cotman. Cotman, you can get in tubes, you can get it in half pan. Um, I have a couple of tubes here. Um, Windsor Newton, of course, another tried and true legacy company. Probably the most popular one. Maybe that's a matter of opinion and speculation, but as far as I know, it was definitely the first major art company of any relevance that I ever had an experience with or heard of. Of course, you're gonna get light, fast information, pigment information as you do with all of Windsor & Newton's products. Here you got another number, uh, that's a number five round. Again, not a water brush, so kind of different. In a field pocket sketchbook type of palette, really nice. This one is a little cumbersome um, in all honesty. I like the palette, but I can see how some people could put be put off by it. Um, but the colors are, you know, Cotman. Cotman is Cotman. Um, they're really decent colors. Pretty, uh, you know, you get some characteristics across the paints. Um, they are true pigmented uh, paints, so um, they probably do have a few filters and stretch 
the pigment because these are not the professional grade, but they work well. They work really well in all types of situations. They'd be a wonderful beginner paint. And I know plenty of experienced artists who paint with Cotman as well. Now here I actually have a palette and this is a mixture of Grambacher and Cotman, two paints together. Um, because I normally use this palette whenever I'm painting uh, landscapes off camera practicing. Um, it's a pretty robust um, palette for that. And it was put together with those two legacy company um, student grade paints because I wanted something that performed really, really well but didn't cost me a whole lot of money. And of course, both of those I recommend. I recommend, um, I, well, both of those. Both versions, half pan set or two set of Cotman, I think is a pretty decent buy. And you can find them pretty much everywhere. Craft stores, big box, box store, uh, big box art stores, online retailers, you can find anywhere. Now, a couple years ago, Cotman, or should I say Windsor & Newton, moved the production of the Cotman line to China. They kept producing, I believe they, they're continuing to produce the professional line at home, but they moved the production line of the Cotman to China. And it is my um, speculation that that was sold to Phoenix. Because Phoenix is a company in China that white labels for other budget brands and they produce their own brand of paints, which are almost, if not exactly identical to the Cotman line of paint. And most paints that Phoenix white label for budget brands perform look like Cotman paints. Okay, so this is Phoenix 12 tube set. And I am more than sure without a shadow of a doubt that Phoenix and Cotman are the exact same paints. The thing is, um, the num the pigment numbers, the pigment names, the light fast match up across both brands. And I'm more and of course we know in this case, um, Phoenix may have copied all of this formulation all the way down to the letter from Cotman because Cotman has been around longer, as far as I know. So um, if you were to compare a chart of Cartman to Phoenix, they would literally match color for color, pigment for pigment, light fast rating for light fast ratings. The colors that are in the Phoenix range that does not have any light fast or pigment information included just so happen to be the colors that are not produced by Windsor and Newton Cartman line. So, you know, <laughs> do what you want to do with that information. Pretty decent paint though. They're very economical, they're very affordable. They perform exactly like Cotman's. So yes, I definitely recommend them. Um, they're a little bit more budget friendly than Cotman. I'm gonna be very honest because um, Cotman is a tried true legacy brand. So they're gonna, you're gonna pay a little bit more for that name. Um, and because Phoenix has copied that formula, you can now get that grade and quality of paint for a lot less under the Phoenix name. Now, of course, I don't work for either of these companies, and what I'm saying, I do not know to be 100% true, but these are just speculations that I have based on using these paints, and it seems to be a pretty popular opinion amongst other artists. I will throw that out there as well. So yeah, now this 12 tube set of paints happens to be the um, paint set that I am giving away in the Cheap Art Challenge. Um, there is currently a cheap art challenge going on. At the time this video goes up, you actually still have time to enter because the winner will not be announced until January 1st. You have up until 11.59, December 31st, in order to get your entry submitted. So check the video description to follow the link and get all of the information on getting into the cheap art challenge if you would want to. Because what you are going to be winning is the 12 tube set of Cotman, I mean of Phoenix paints. Now they come in a box. They're in this tube. They come in a Phoenix box. They do not come in this palette. This is a palette that I purchased and put them in, especially not in the full pans. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, really nice paint, really decent paint definitely recommend them. I think they're wonderful for a beginner. Whether you get them under the Phoenix label, whether you get them under the Cotman label, just keep in mind that you're going to be paying a little bit more for the Cotman name than you would for the Phoenix. All right. And we are down to the very last palette in the student budget grade category. 
And I saved this palette for last because it is my number one, currently number one, recommended student grade palette. And we are talking about the Meeling Pretty Excellent 36 count of watercolor. This is probably the most saturated, most transparent, vibrant, and vibrant paint set that I have experienced in the times that I've been dealing with watercolors. Come in a really nice 3010. They are produced by the infamous Paul Rubin Company, which is a art manufacturer that has exploded onto the scene producing some of the best quality products that i have seen in a really long time paul rubens my hats off to you um because everything that i have tried by your company so far i have liked um, i have this pretty excellent set i have their 24 half pan set of professional paints in the little pink tin um, i actually have the paul rubens student grade paints which we have not even gotten to opening that palette and testing and reviewing those. So they're not a part of this palette tour, but maybe they'll be a part of the next one because I'm definitely gonna give those a try. Excuse me guys, let me just get a little drink here. I've been talking for quite a while. Um, so yeah, there you have that. Um, number one recommended paints. Like I said, transparent, saturated, vibrant layer well glaze and layer of course same thing lift well um just they have a nice flow to them you a nice color range they mixed and made really beautiful colors i i i was just i'm just really really impressed with these you can get them for about 20 bucks on a normal basis 17 every other day you can catch them on lightning deal i've seen them as low as 14 15 bucks you cannot go wrong. They come in two different sets, 36 and the 24. And I do believe they now have a 48 set out um, that you can get. And again, these are produced by Paul Rubens. So you can pretty much assure yourself that no matter what set you get, you are going to get the same quality paint. Love it. Love it. This is where I say begin. If you just had to spend, if you were just to walk up to me on the street and say, Ken. I have got $20 in my pocket. I need a paint that is going to perform and blow my socks off. It's gonna be of great quality. And I'm gonna be able to stand behind what I do with it. I will look at you and tell you, you need to go source me lean, pretty excellent, and spend your money on that. Now, you are gonna get pigment and life as information with these. Let me make this clear. Is this a student grade? It's not professional. Um, just like any other budget grade product, you are going to have your fugitive and your non-fugitive pigments. Now, here is the pretty excellent swatch sheet. I wanted to show you guys this really beautiful color. I'm just, I'm so in love. Look at this. Look at the beauty that you can get from. Now, that's my fault because I didn't finish that out, but. Just look at the saturation in color. Um, go back and check out that um, review video. I was really impressed with these. Really, really impressed. And I, 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 I would buy them for anybody who I wanted to get started in watercolor as a gift. Again, number one recommended budget grade set, student grade, student budget grade set. That is the uh, Meeling Pretty Excellent Watercolors produced by Owen and manufactured by Owen Art, which happens to carry the Paul Ru Paul Rubens logo. I am getting tongue tied. Maybe I'm getting, maybe my mouth is getting tired. Okay guys, that was the very last um, one in the student budget grade category. We're gonna move on to the very last category. We don't have many more to go. We're gonna move into the professional grade of paints that we have experienced here in the studio. So we are gonna start off with the camel watercolors so i have two sets here this is the camel artist watercolors if i'm not mistaken this is kokio camel and produced in india um this is a really nice set of paints guys you get a lot of paint 
in a really big tube. <laughs> you're gonna get the color name, you're gonna get the series number, you're gonna get the light fast and the transparency information. Now, what I did not get with these sets was the pigment information. And I have both a 12 tube set and a 24 tube set and neither one of those, but they, they give you the identical information across both sets, but no pigment codes. With that being said, they are the number one company in India, from what I understand. And when I use these paints and try these paints, I really, really like them. I really, really did. So let's take a look at how the palette setup came out. And then I'm gonna let you look at the swatch. Oh, well, here's a swatch sheet right here. That's what we need. So here are the colors. Now, be warned, these paints have a, if you're sensitive to odor, this might not be the way you wanna go. But this is a very nice artist, professional quality paint that is really budget friendly and performs super well. I was really impressed. Not my favorite, but really, really nice and definitely great for a beginner. If you wanna just start off with artist grade professional paints and you wanna pay budget price for them and just skip over the student grade and go straight to an artist grade, then this would be one that you would, might wanna give, you know, might wanna give a try, might wanna consider. That is the Camel Watercolor. This is 24 tubes that they have in 12 tubes. Um, I'm not sure if it's any bigger sets. They may be a 36. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But um, yeah, there you have it. I would definitely recommend them. I think that they are a super nice paint. Um, you can get them for about 20, maybe 30 bucks. 20, yeah, somewhere in there. Maybe cheaper than that, depending on the size uh, set that you're buying. So, you can't go wrong with those guys. I love those. I do. I do. A lot of these I recommend. A lot of the paints I recommend because I feel like they're good. So let's move on. Next, we are going to take a look at... Uh, core Golden. This is Golden's Core Watercolors. Now, these... Depending on what set size you buy them in, may not be the most budget friendly. I'm going to be honest about that. Now, we have to keep in mind in our professional grade category that we are talking about professional paints. So they're not going to always carry a budget price. But I do try my best to always, you know, source paints that are not going to break the bank. Now, Core sets, you can get somewhere between $30 and $40 if you're getting, like, I think the six tube divided sets. I'm not sure how much the really big set costs. The, um, it does fluctuate. They come in these small five milliliter tubes. Um, they are going to, of course, have the light fast pigment information. Um, they're going to have the color name, the series number, all of the good stuff. Uh, Golden is a really reputable company. They were known for acrylic paints, if I'm not mistaken. And not too long ago, they decided to, um, they decided to, you know, release a watercolor. And for what it's worth, they are very beautiful, really bright and transparent. They perform super well. You want to talk about a paint that has a flow that is amazing. If you are an artist who likes flowy paints and you want a professional grade of paint that's going to carry a good quality and have a pretty decent light fastness to it, then this is definitely the way to go. Like I said, you are going to have to buy it in sets. Um, this is just the introductory set that I bought. I believe it's 12 tubes. Um, and you get a really nice range of colors that you can do some really good color mixing with. Um, colors won't get muddy or, or super opaque as you mix them. Um, and like I said, these are definitely the paints if you like flow. I like painting with them just because I feel like they're fun. The flow in itself makes them fun. Now, I'll be honest, they're not my favorite um, brand of professional paints, but they're definitely in my top three. They are definitely in my top three professional paints that I've tried and experienced so far. All right, we're wrapping this up. Let's move on. Let's take a look at, I have to run and grab some stuff. Let's take a look at um, another set by Winsor & Newton. Now this is Winsor & Newton professional line. Now I don't have any actual half pants, but what I do have is, I believe this is a discontinued product in all honesty, because I haven't been able to find them. This is a gift sent to the studio. Uh, and this is the Winsor & Newton P. 
pigment sticks is is that what they're called um uh, i think they're called pigment sticks let's see is it on here uh it just says windsor and newton professional watercolor but this is basically their watercolor in stick form and when you can daniel smith does this there are a couple of other companies that that produce the product like this i like these for this reason when you find it in stick form that's pure pigment right and you can just break those sticks down and put them into half pans and paint from them like that so that's how i created my professional Windsor and newton palette i just took those professional watercolor sticks and broke them down and that's what i what i paint from and i love them i love them i think they are so nice Again, I don't know if you can really find these, and if you did, they probably wouldn't be that very cost-effective in all honesty, but we are doing a watercolor palette tour, so I did want to include them because they are a product that I have used, tested, and reviewed on the channel. So, that is the Windsor & Newton Professional Watercolor Sticks. So, love those. I love those. I like painting with those. Um, but again, I think they may be a little hard to find right now. So we're almost wrapping this up. We have like maybe four more palettes to look at. And just like in the other category, I'm still, I'm saving my favorite one for last. Okay. So this next professional paint that we're going to look at was one that caught me off guard. I do not believe that it's it is available in the American market. Now, this is a palette that I was gifted with. This is the Paul Rubens Candy Colored Watercolors. Um, this set came from AliExpress. I was able to track down where it came from. Um, and again, I believe this is a paint set that's only sold in the Asian market. It is a legitimate Paul Rubin professional product. I was able to verify that. I'm looking for my swatch book because I want to show you guys the swatch sheet for it, for them. They are really nice. I really like them. I like Paul Rubin products. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think and now they're sort of a novelty palette to me. You know, there's not a lot of times that I would just run to them and grab them. But I think there are situations and uh, circumstances when I would. Because they have really beautiful granulation to them. I love that. Um, uh, Easter paintings, um, Christmas paintings. There are some situations when you would definitely use them. And having a little convenience set like that, um, I think, you know, does well. Now, I do believe AliExpress... Um, sellers buy bigger sets and break them up and then resell them again which is how I think this was done again it was a gift for me but it was a wonderful gift and these are definitely something that I would suggest I think you can find them on AliExpress for about 14 or 15 dollars again it's not a must-have but if you're looking for just a little nice novelty palette you want something to you know just have something a little different definitely recommend them definitely recommend them i like them i like them a lot actually um here is a little leaf i just happen to have this in this watch but like that way you can see them in effect and you can go back and check out the review video if you really want to um but yeah really nice 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 let's see i think i did that one with them as well um just some little candies so really nice for paintings like this and situations like this so you can definitely definitely use them all right, let's move on. The next set we are going to be looking at is a very economical and affordable set. It was my very first professional set of watercolors, and that is the White Knights. Now, St. Petersburg White Knights. They also produce the Yorker water paints, which I believe is the exact same paint, just under a different name for a different market. Now, this is one, two, three, four. This is the 12 um full pan that's one thing about white knights that i like they come in full pan um sort of semi-moist really nice and uh really nice and transparent 
Um, they layered really well. They glaze really well. And I think that they are a really nice entry-level professional paint. They're priced really, really well compared to other professional paints. Um, now, I know there is a little... Um, how do I put this and be politically correct? I know that there's a little gray cloud right now surrounding, you know, maybe purchasing and supporting Russian products. If that should ever turn around, maybe this is something that you'll consider. Now, I'll be honest, um, I was really torn about whether or not I was going to include this um, in this watercolor palette tour. But at the end of the day, um, the point of this was to show you and to go through all of the palettes that we had here in the studio. So ultimately, that's what I decided to do. So that is the White Knights. Um, Set. And like I said, they are super affordable, and it is a professional grade of paint. Um, but I would definitely put them more on the entry-level professional grade. All right, let's move on. The very next set we're going to take a look at is a really nice one. It is another set by Paul Rubens. Now, keep in mind, we have, at this point, looked at um, that maybe Asian-specific market candy color watercolor set. We've looked at the pretty excellent set, which is really, really nice. Now, this is the 24 half pan professional watercolor set by Paul Rubens. It's going to pop you somewhere between 30 and 50 bucks. It's still economical, and it is a really, really nice paint. It comes in a really nice chipboard box. It's got really nice linen on the inside. It comes in a super high quality, nice tin. Um and the paints are really really nice the paints are really really nice um i don't think and this is going to sound funny i do not believe that this line of paints is as saturated as that pretty excellent set that i told you about that's my number one recommendation for the student line but i believe that's because maybe because this is student grade paint and it has you know stuff in it to stretch the pigments maybe it has more optimal 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 more brighteners i cannot talk all of a sudden <laughs> um in it to make it a little bit more saturated these colors seem to be a little bit more muted maybe a little bit more traditional watercolor um saturation but really really nice paint really affordable paint i really like the paul rubens company and I really do kind of suggest anything that I've tried by them so far. Um, I don't feel like you can go wrong. I'll show you guys here the same thing I showed in some review videos. If you check out the pamphlet on the inside of the professional set, you'll see it's the same pictures and pamphlets that's on the inside of the Pretty Excellent set, uh, inside of most Paul Rubin sets. Now, from what I understand, Paul Rubin has changed their logo. They're no longer using the picture of um, Paul Rubens. I was watching a video where they released their fourth generation of watercolors, which I think I'm really interested in trying. I'm interested in trying all their products. Any of them that I haven't tried, I want to try, um, especially in the water soluble line. It's that simple. Um, because I do like them and I have re I have tried most of them and liked them and definitely recommend most of them. But they had, I noticed that in that video, they changed the logo. And I'm not sure what the story behind that is, but that is the Paul Rubens Artist Transparent Watercolors 24 Half Pan Set. It is a really good buy. Really good buy. Most of the professional brands, I suggest, um, that we're covering. Because they're really high quality and they're nice. They come with all of the information that you would suspect them to. And none of the brands that I have, I have showed you in their set sizes it's just something that's going to completely break the bank. All right, guys. We are have rolled down to the very last palette for this watercolor tour. And I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm glad because I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I'm a little tired, guys. I'm a little tired. This is what I feel is the number one palette in my studio of things that I have used, tested, Put through the ringers and reviewed over the time that I have been on YouTube, which has been about three years now. This is my favorite palette of paint that I have tried so far, and that is the Mission, the Magello Mission Gold Class watercolors. 
I cannot rave enough about how much I love these watercolors. And I honestly have not heard any artist that I know who has had experience with them say anything bad about them at all. Guys, I do not feel like you could ever, ever, ever go wrong with this. These are beautiful, beautiful watercolors. Um, they come in really beautiful packaging. Um, the logo on is really nice. It has all of the light fast, transparency, pigment, series numbers, um, color names, um, you name it, the information is on there. Really transparent, live really well, glaze really well, lift really well, um, really saturated, high in pigment. A little bit goes a long way. They re-wet really well, um, work really well in a mixed media aspect, standalone paintings. Um, as you can see, they dry, dry down really well in the palette. No issues with cracking or um, the consistencies in the paints was pretty transparent, uh, pretty, pretty uniform, excuse me, across the whole set. I do know you can get them in bigger sets, smaller sets. They have a pure pigment set um, where you can get less dual and triple pigment mixtures. But I do not believe that you can go wrong with any of their sets. I love Mission Go, and it is definitely my number one recommended professional grade of paint that I have used and tried here in the studio so far. So, a really quick recap of the ones of everything that we've looked at. Everything that we have looked at. My top two would be in the professional, the Magello Mission Go class. And in the student grade, it would be the Pretty Excellent 36 color count. So, if I had to just recommend any at all, it would be these two. So, there you have it, guys. That is a complete look at all of the watercolor palettes that I have here in the studio. Um, that has gotten me to thinking that I might do this same type of video for all of my watercolor pencils, for all of my color pencils, for all of my pastels, be they water soluble or not. Um, I don't think I will do one for paper because it may be kind of boring, although I do have lots and lots of different types of paper. But anyway, guys, there you have it. Um, I may throw a couple of links in the video description. I'm not sure if I will link all of this up. I <laughs> probably not of all of these the most maybe the top five to ten most recommended ones would be the ones that I'll link in the video description and hopefully you guys have enjoyed a more in-depth look at all of the watercolors that I have here now I have a lot more than this guys but these that we've gone through are the only ones that have actually been you know, on the channel used in demos and reviewed. Um, so we have quite a bit more to get to coming up in the year 2023 and I'm excited and really looking forward to the content coming up on the channel. Hopefully you saw something that you liked. Hopefully you enjoyed this watercolor palette tour. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, guys. I would love that. Use the comment section. Let me know, do you have any of these things? <laughs> have you tried any of these paints? What do you think about it? What do you think about this watercolor palette tour? Was this video too long? Oh my God, what was I thinking? I'm going crazy. It's late at night and I've been talking forever. Um, don't forget to follow us on the Thrifty Apprentice Facebook page, Instagram page, TikTok page. Check out the Thrifty Apprentice YouTube channel sponsored Facebook art group, which is called Paints, Pencils, Pastels, and Markers. There'll be a link for it um, in the video description. Don't forget about the cheap art challenge. Again, link for it in the video description. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think I am. I'm about to go crazy. I'm going to get off of here and go to bed and get prepared for wake up and do it all over again tomorrow. And as I tell you guys at the end of every single video, just keep painting.